Now let's set up a email sequence within Mailing Boss in Build Raw. Okay, so there's a couple of ways to set up an email sequence within Mailing Boss in Build Raw. Now I prefer to use workflows, but you could also go and set it up under a campaign and email sequence here. So I'm going to show you how to do it in workflows, but let me just first show you quickly how it's done if you go uh, here to email sequence. That takes us here. And then from here, of course, we could just hit uh, create new and then give it a uh, name. So let's call this uh, our agency new leads. Uh, we will choose the list that's our agency lead list and here we can choose to segment our list we are not going to do this uh, yet uh, that's something we can do later when we have more subscribers then we can have a list for the people who always open our links and the list for people who uh, almost never open our links uh, we can have a list for buyers and we can have a list for prospects and so on also here we can choose whether we want to send this list to only future subscribers and uh, to current and future subscribers. For now we are going to use the send to future subscribers, uh, which in this case doesn't matter since we don't have any subscribers, but let's say you had a, build, a big list, then you would have to choose uh, who you want this new list to go out to. And then we hit save and edit uh, sequence emails here. Now here we can come in and set up our emails uh, and uh, we could use only text or if we want to bring in images and such, we can do that as well. And, and maybe a button. Okay. Uh, and then of course, if you want to add a email, you would do that uh, here and just add your next email. Cool. Uh, now let's go back to campaigns and email sequences. And here's the campaign we just created. Now the second way to do this, which I think is a little bit nicer because it's more visual, is to go to workflow. Just hit that. Okay, so then we come in here, we uh, drag in our list on the uh, workspace here. Click the middle icon here, select a list. It's gonna be our agency leads. Uh, from here, we could go back and update that list and everything. For now, we're just gonna say, okay. Then we are going to go to the green arrow here and choose email sequence. And we're going to choose the email sequence that we just created and say load sequence emails. And there we are. So this is one way of doing it. Now let me show you what I think is the better way. So let me just delete this and then uh, actually come back into campaigns here, email sequence and then delete this uh, sequence here. All right, so um, what I would do is instead of creating a new list here, I would go straight into workflow, uh, drag in the list element here, click the icon in the middle, choose the list that we want to use and say okay. Then go to the green uh, arrow icon here, say email sequence. And then now we are going to create a new sequence from here. So let's hit that, give it a name. All right, and then uh, make sure we're on the right list. Decide who we want to send this to and say number of messages. Here I'm just gonna go with 10, hit create, and then hit okay. So now our email sequence is created and this is a sequence sequence now of 10 emails. Uh, this, however, is just placeholders uh, to give us an overview. We still have to go in and uh, actually set up every email and, and write them out. But this is just to, to uh, give us a, a good starting point to work with. Now, before we start editing our emails, let's just save this workflow so let's give it a name and hit save good now that that's saved let's start editing our first email and we do that through hitting the icon here okay so here it shows us that this is the uh, first email in our sequence 
and now from here I'm just gonna hit uh, email information and filter tags and that will take us to the very beginning of editing this email so let's click that and that takes us here uh, this is the campaign name campaign compared to a sequence uh, in this case means campaign is just a single email whereas a sequ sequence as you saw is multiple emails this campaign is a autoresponder, which means it's gonna automatically send uh, on a specific day and time that we set up. So each uh, new subscriber that comes into the list is gonna get this email, let's say, in this case, since it's the welcome email, they're gonna get it as soon as they've confirmed their subscription. We'll get back to that. Uh, okay, and uh, make sure it's in the right sequence, uh, the right list. And here are some very important tools uh, that you can use when you have some subscribers on your list and you want to start segmenting. Uh, maybe you want to add a lead score filter or a tag filter. Uh, for now, we're just going to say save and next. And that then takes us here. And here, of course, uh, we can edit the text to uh, say, say hi. And then we are going to use the uh, first name tag. there Okay, there we are. So let's now just add this link and hit link here. Then we need to fetch a URL. Uh, for this example, let me just take uh, that URL, add that there, hit the save. And now when they click the link, it's gonna take them to that page. All right, and a last very important thing is to make sure you always have the unsubscribe URL here as well as your company full address. Uh, this is very important and you have to have this to apply to the can spam loss, uh, which is a must so that you don't get a, a hefty fine for not having that. And so those are the company details that we fill in in our list under update and then scroll down and find the company details here. If by chance you accidentally delete these, uh, you could always find them again under the available tags here. All right, so now let's hit save and next. Now, of course, here we have to make sure it's sent from the uh, correct mail and also that the reply to mail is the one we want to use there. And here, of course, we could uh, change uh, tag and then and then here we can choose to change the subject if we want to say okay maybe like that maybe say uh, welcome to your first day of training uh, and then of course we could hit the advanced and change even more stuff here for now i'm just gonna say save and next so here we have to decide when they are getting this email whether it's after subscription or after opening a specific email a specific day uh, after campaign activation and so on we're going to keep it at this uh, it's going to be one and then uh, in case this was one day this is now one day after subscription and then we can say that if they subscribed at nine o'clock in the morning they are going to get the email at nine o'clock in the morning as well since it's the same as subscription here and you can of course change this maybe you want all your emails to go out or this specific email to go out at uh, 1 a.m for for example or whatever uh, suits you in this case we don't really have to care much about that because instead of a day after subscription we want this to go out a minute after they they've confirmed their subscription they're gonna get uh, that straight away okay and then we can of course send a email test and uh, if we scroll down we can uh, see the campaign name the list segment 
uh, who it's from, the reply to address, the to name, the subject, when it's added and last updated. Uh, now we are going to save and activate. This is very important. If you do not activate it, it will not go out. So let's save and activate this email. So now we can see that this is active and then we can continue to uh, set up our second email. And it's very important to set up at least a short sequence and, and try to add email to that sequence so that you always keep your list engaged and uh, don't let them forget about you once you've actually gotten uh, leads on your list. Now, I get that it can be very hard to come up with ideas for a very long email sequence. However, we do have some tools that can help us out to simplify this process. So let me show you how you can easily come up with and find ideas for your different emails in your sequence.